Hey, Dr. Ken Starr with The Wellness Group. Thanks for joining me. I wanted to make a quick video on sublocade dosing. Sublocade, transitioning off of buprenorphine or suboxone on the, su on the sublocade. How long should you be on 300 before you step down? The manufacturer says sublocade is indicated uh, eight milligrams a day or more of buprenorphine, your candidate. I disagree with that. I think way lower doses can benefit from sublocade. Problem is insurance companies oftentimes aren't paying for it if you're under eight milligrams. But manufacturer says that eight to 18 milligrams a day, if your buprenorphine dose is eight to 18 milligrams a day, you're gonna do sublocade once, and then you can do 100 after that. 20 to milligrams a day and more, which is 20 to 24, you do 300 milligrams twice. I think that's good overall advice. You should know what the manufacturer suggests. I think it's a little different. I'd say if you're on, you know, not eight to 18, but I think if you're on probably 12 milligrams a day or more, I would do 300 twice. Now, I don't think there's any downside to do that. Then I would step down to 100 for two or three injections, and I think you could probably walk away at that point. Um, 20 to 24 definitely would do 300 milligrams twice. Hey, if you've liked this video so far and have learned anything valuable, please like, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. In summary, if you're on 12 milligrams or more, I would do 300 milligrams twice, 300 milligrams the first month, 300 milligrams the second month, and then 100 after that. If you're on, say, 6 to 12 milligrams or so, I would do 300 milligrams once, and then 100 after that. Less than 6 milligrams, around 4 or 5, we could, you could have a, a thought about doing 100. Talk about that with your doctor, but certainly, you know, one milligram, two, three, four milligrams, we can start those patients at 100, they do fine. Thanks, that's it for now.